Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno Kyo. I usually start the video at Marunouchi exit, but today we are at Yaese exit since we are using the Shinkansen. Today, I'm using the Nozomi Shinkansen, which is the fastest Shinkansen from Tokyo to Osaka. It only takes 2.5 hours. Yes, it is really fast. As you may realize, if you are watching my recent video, there are less travelers in Japan. Oh, wait. Maybe I'd better walk and talk. That would be better, right? Okay, so let's keep walking first. There are fewer people traveling to Japan compared to before, right after the Japan opening. But of course, still, there are so many people visiting Japan too. Probably it will be more and more. So here's a question. If you are visiting Japan, do you need to reserve the seat for Shinkansen? Before the pandemic, I usually don't reserve the seat, but uh, after the pandemic and the Japan opened, I always reserve the seat. About three months ago, I used the Shinkansen from Osaka to Tokyo and used the non-reserved seat, but uh, it was super quickly, the seat was full. So I'm wondering, how about now? So hopefully in this video, I can show you guys how it looks like right now. All right, so let's go. And uh, yeah, this is the first stop. I have to come over. Since I got the ticket from the discounted ticket store, I have to change the date. The price was 13,870 Japanese yen for the regular price, but I could board it with 13,000 Japanese yen, so 870 Japanese yen cheaper. However, I have to change the date, so this way. At the counter, yep, less people. The last time when I came over here, there was a super long line at the J Alpas place, but today seems like no worrying. By the way, if you are heading to Osaka, there are three different kinds of Shinkansen, which is Nozomi, Hikari, Kodama. The Nozomi is the fastest one. If you were using Hikari and Kodama, there are only two trains in an hour, so you have to be careful. Okay, that's it. If you are using the JR Pass, probably you are using the Hikari, because Nozomi, you can't use it. However, still, Hikari is pretty fast, only takes 3 hours compared to 2.5 hours. So, you know, thinking about the price of JR Pass, even they increase the price, I think it's a really a good deal. However, if you are only using several times and you don't need a JR Pass, I recommend to use the discounted ticket store to get the discounted ticket because, you know, simply you can save money with super easy way. All right, so now let's enter the station. So now we are inside the Tokyo station, but not the Shinkansen station yet. In the last video, I introduced around the Tokyo station area, but today, let me introduce a little bit of inside the Tokyo station. There are so many stores outside the Tokyo station, but inside the Tokyo station, also there are so many restaurants and the stores. There is bento store and also the Tokyo Banana Dramon version. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's so cute. In Tokyo station, it's a huge station and there are so many lines. So if you are visiting here, make sure check which train you need to take. So this is how the Tokyo station looks like and we are over here. There are two different kinds of Shinkansen place. The one is going to west and the one is going to north. If you directly use the Shinkansen gate, you can just directly go into the Shinkansen station. However, I recommend to use a different gate. Inside, you have to enter to the Shinkansen again. However, there are so many places you can watch and you can enjoy. So if you are visiting Tokyo station, I recommend using the regular gates. Yeah, those places. Well, even mistakenly, you strongly enter to the Shinkansen place. You don't have to worry. You can just tell the staff and, uh, you know, they can let you go outside too. So, yeah, I recommend, but uh, <laughs> don't afraid of making mistakes. Oh my goodness, look at this. That's a Hyoko Manju, which is a really popular souvenir from Kyushu area. 
but uh, now they are making collab with Tokyo. Oh my goodness, this is a limited Tokyo version. Price is 1680 Japanese yen. It must be a really good souvenir. Now we came to the downstairs, which is a glance at Tokyo. After they renew it, it became more beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this huge tonkatsu bento. It's huge, 1960 Japanese yen. Also, they have simple Japanese style bento too. Even you don't eat meat, there are many different kinds of salad as well. Yakitori looking pretty good too. There is sushi restaurant. Let's see how much it costs. Okay, so five pieces of sushi, five different kinds of tuna, 1450 Japanese yen. Three different kinds of sushi, 850 Japanese yen. Okay, so seems like if you want to eat the lunch, those are the set menus. The cheapest one is 2,000 Japanese yen, the expensive one is 3,600 Japanese yen. I'm not sure if you can be full or not, but yeah, those are the prices. From here, it's the restaurant street. Let's explore. So it's the Teishoku restaurant. Let me see how much it costs. So the main one is popular one, 2,000 Japanese yen. and. Uh, this fancy one is 3,500 Japanese yen. Looking pretty good. And how about here? Oh, it's Yakitori restaurant. They have bento box too. The price is 1,630 Japanese yen. And also the drink itself. 1,350 Japanese yen, including beer. Nice. So I guess this area is mainly for drinking bars. There are tables outside, so many salarymen come over here after work and uh, they have a beer <laughs> with snack. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. They have a cold soybean dandan noodle. Interesting, I've never heard it. It's a limited one. I'm wondering if they still have one or not. If they do, Let's eat it over here before riding on the Shinkansen because I'll be hungry. Nice atmosphere. Seems like there are many different kinds of menu items too. But today I want to eat the limited one. Yeah, over here, this one. The Hiyashi Danda noodle looking pretty good. And they have a set menu too, so why don't we try this set one? Oh, actually this high kohan, the pork, looking pretty good too though. Which one should I order? Hmm. Maybe noodle. Ah, oh my goodness, look at this tomato sanda dang. That's good. good. There are many different kinds of noodles too. Well, today it's already 3 p.m. but I haven't eaten lunch yet. So I was planning to eat inside the Tokyo station and I want to try something new so that maybe I can find a good restaurant. And uh, yes, seems like I found the interesting food, so really excited. Speaking of going back to Osaka, it only takes 2.5 hours, which I think it's pretty fast. You know, I was born in the race in Osaka, and when I was a kid, I felt like you know, Tokyo is a super fun place. Well, after it gets adult, I realized that actually it's not bad at all. <laughs> as long as if you are ready to pay for the Shinkansen ticket. Yeah. Well, 13,800 Japanese yen for train ticket. I think it's pretty expensive. You know, if you want to save money, you can always use the airplane or maybe night bus would be the more expensive. Such a bus. A bus. I get a gas. So if you want to save money, you can always use the night bus, which is the cheapest way. But uh, yeah, it would take whole night. So uh, I usually use the Shinkansen even though it's expensive and here we go oh my goodness it's huge and fancy finally i can eat itadakimasu oh my goodness it's my first time to try the cold dandan noodle really interesting 
キウイいただきます美味しいはい。Yeah, I feel like I'm eating the salad instead of noodle. So maybe it would be perfect. Sometimes you are super tired and you feel like you don't want to eat much. Then this salad slash noodle, I guess it would be good. So, how about this chicken? めっちゃ美味しい。It's spicy but really nice flavor of green onion in the chicken. No. Now I'm okay, but when I was a kid, I like most of the veggies, but、uh, except the tomato. I don't know, somehow I felt like the tomato is too sour, so when I was a kid, I kind of avoid eating tomato. You know, after I grew up and I met the fungi, j i t a n g f a n g which is the Chinese egg and tomato food, I became more into tomato now. But、uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I couldn't eat the tomato much. Is there any veggies that you didn't like when you were a kid? If so, please let me know in the comment. Hmm. Now, tomato? Oishi. And the shumai. Oh, s h i I'm so full. Now, let's go to catch the Shinkansen. <laughs> There is a huge suzu, which is the bell. I remember Doraemon. Speaking of Shinkansen, there are two different k i n d of Shinkansen. The one is Tokaido Shinkansen, which is the blue one, and the other one is the Hokuriku Shinkansen, which is the green one. If you are heading to Kyoto, Osaka, and Fukuoka, the Kyushu area, the blue one. So make sure to get the Tokaido Shinkansen one. They have a different gate. Oh, the one thing you have to remember is that if you have a bigger luggage, Over 160 to 250, you have to reserve the seat. Otherwise, you can ride on it. If you have a, like, a carry on side luggage like this, you don't have to make a reservation. But、uh, yeah, if you are carrying the big luggage, make sure to make the reservation. So the next train is from 4 39, and、uh, the next, next one is 4 48. I'm wondering if. Still, I can find a seat for 439 one.、Uh, let's see. Number 17. If I can't find a seat,、uh, let me wait for the next one. Oh, seems like it's packed. Let's see.、So、it's a long train, but、uh, if you are sitting in the non reserved seat, It's car number from one to three, so we have to go from it. I want to take the seat letter E. I'm wondering if I can still get one. Probably I need to wait for the next one. Let me see. Hopefully, I can find it though. Let's go. Can I find it? Or can't I? I'm wondering. Oh, maybe. No. Oh, sweet. This one is open. So, let's take C over here. How about car number one? Yeah, aside the car number one, it's super packed too. Ooh, so, I guess maybe I was super lucky that I could find a seat over here. I'm 
this seat has the space in front so there are more space that I can sit down and also if you are trying to take in the seat try to take the seat letter E so that you can see the Mount Fuji by the window well to be honest I didn't expect that there are so many people at the platform however you know I was in the last minutes and I could find a seat and still there are still empty seats as well so if you are taking a train from Tokyo station you don't have to worry about much So now we just arrived to Shinagawa station which is the next station from Tokyo station. Probably there will be more people riding on this train and uh, I will have the passenger next to me so I will shut up. See you guys soon. Interesting, only several people riding home from the Shinagawa station. So yeah, still there are empty seats at the Shin Yokohama station which is the next station from here. And uh, my seat next to me is still available too. Never mind, just a passenger came to the seat next to me so I will be quiet. See you guys soon. It's a bit cloudy but a beautiful sky. Somehow it's so blue. Unfortunately, it was crowded outside, so I couldn't see Mount Fuji, but I always enjoyed a window seat. The passenger next to me took off the train at the Nagoya station, and still there were many seats available. So we just arrived to Nagoya station, and it seems like there are still many empty seats. Three weeks ago, at the Nagoya station, there are several people standing and uh, you know trying to find a place to sit down. So yeah, definitely right now, less people over here. Alright, arrived to Osaka Station, Sweden. Here we go, we came back to Osaka, my hometown. Seems like it was raining in Osaka. No raining in Tokyo though. <laughs> Smells 551 Horai Milban. Yep, reminds me Osaka. Osaka Station 2. It seems like not as crowded as before. Yeah, many sarimas, but not that many travelers, I feel like. In the last video, I show you guys how to get to Osaka Station from Shin Osaka Station. So, this video, let me show you guys how to get to Namba Station. If you are heading to Osaka Station, JR lines. That's the st that's the train that you want to take. But if you are heading to Namba Station, that Midosuji line is the line that you want to take. So this is the way. This subway Midosuji line is the main line. So if you want to go to the city by the subway, this is the line that you want to use. Yep, that red one over there. Already here, I can feel the atmosphere of Osaka, the Kukulu too. Sweet. Oh, here, they finished the construction. Now it gets bigger space for souvenir and cleaner. Nice. Oh my goodness, look at this flower land. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Look at this fancy Warabi Machi. Wow. Must be good. 667 Japanese here. Oh, and here it became a 7 Eleven. Oh, they have many souvenirs inside. At the same time, they have a regular 7 Eleven food as well. Sweet. This place too. They have a cafe latte. 7 Eleven's cafe latte, it's pretty good and the price is cheap as well. It's only 240 Japanese yen, so yep, I always drink it. It is really simple, you just need to place it and the place the button, the regular size. <laughs> Someone trusts the Starbucks over here, yep. <laughs> ah, well, probably the Starbucks 4D would be better, but uh, this guy, 
the half price. Ready. Ah, psycho. Well, you know, whenever I go to travel to foreign country or some places I've never been, yep, the Starbucks will be a good option because somehow it makes me more excited. But here, we are in Osaka, it's my hometown. So yeah, you know, the 7-Eleven drink makes me feel better because, yep, I'm so get used to drinking with this. <laughs> Can't buy for that. Here, you can buy the reclose cheesecake too. That's a limited cheesecake in Osaka. It's really good. So, before you leave, you can get the cheesecake over here. Next to the reclose cheesecake, there is a place that you can receive the JR Pass. So, if you just arrive to Osaka and getting a JR Rail Pass, this is the place. All right, so Midosuji line, this is the way to go. Oh yeah, this is something that you gotta learn. Usually in Tokyo, people stand on left side, but in Osaka, people stand on right side. So everyone waits on the right side. Oh, now they are making the Mac Cafe over here. It used to be only the McDonald's, but uh, they have a special McDonald's which has the more different kinds of drink. So after they made a Mac Cafe, that would be great. Eh? They opened it August 4th, so almost. And this is the way, Midosuji Line. Well, some people asked me before in the comment section if they can use the same Suica or Ikoka if you go to the Osaka or Tokyo. Yes, basically, you know, it's the same thing. The name is different, but uh, you can use the same one. So if you are traveling from Tokyo to Osaka or Osaka to Fukuoka or wherever it is, you can use the same train IC card so you don't have to worry about it. So this is the way to go. And platform number one for Nakamotsu, this is the way. From Shin Osaka to Namba Station, there are several stations. It takes 15 minutes, price is 290 Japanese yen. If you are heading to Dotonbori Greco sign, you can just follow the sign. Well, technically, if you are using the JR Pass, you can come over here by the JR line. However, well, somehow JR number station is super far from here. So if you don't want to walk, I don't really recommend to use the JR number station. Midosuji number station, much better. Oh, yes, this map is super easy to explain. So we are over here and uh, Ebisubashi, the Greek running man place is over here. So basically, this is the main street. However, uh, about from JR station to Dodonbori Bridge, I think it takes about 15 minutes by walking, I guess. So yeah, just keep in your mind. Dodonbori must be so many people. So today, let's go to the Namba Parks. It's south part of Namba Station. Much quiet compared to north part of Namba Station. Going to Namba Parks, just walk toward to Nankai Line. And that's the entrance of Nankai Namba Station. If you are heading to Wakayama Prefecture and the Mount Koya, this is the Nankai Station that you have to take the train. So just remember. Yep, that's the entrance. If you are heading to airport, this is the place that you want to take the train to. If you are heading to Namba Parks, just going through this skyo and uh, you can directly go to the number parks. And that's number parks. It's really beautiful in nighttime to noontime. Still beautiful here. How sweet. Feels like I'm home. Don't you guys think? There is a new hotel.
hotel opened central ground over there. Yep, finally construction is over. Finally, it feels like I really came back to Osaka. Yep, I love these number parks. It's a really beautiful place. Many tourists miss this place. You know, they just visit the Dotonbori food street and they miss these number parks. It's a beautiful shopping mall. So if you haven't, or if you didn't know, don't forget to visit these number parks. Anyway, so finally we came back to Osaka. And uh, in the next video, I'm planning to visit Kyoto for the Gion Festival, which is the main day. We will enjoy the Yatai food soul food and attend the Matsuri Festival. It will be really fun. Yes, more adventures in West part of Japan is coming too. So if you haven't, don't be shy. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell button and join our journey. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. Hopefully, you feel like virtual travel to Japan and uh, this video will be a help for your next Japan trip. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. So see you in the next video. See you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that! The, the new building has the conveyor restaurant Kura and also Kappa Ramen. Oh my goodness, I have to re-explore this area too. Well, exploring the Dodonbori Food Street video is coming too. Yeah, every time when I come back here, they are changing. Yes, they are getting ready for the 2025 Expo, which is only two years from now, so... Let's enjoy the changes and hopefully you feel like virtual travel to Japan through this video. Yes, I will try to upload more videos, so please look forward to it. So, hope you enjoy the videos. So see you in the next video.